Welcome back, this is Montes in Vill uh, Minecraft Village Builder and as you hear, you're standing on a uh, archery range. Now, there's a disclaimer I'd like to say and the thing is I was recording about uh, 12 minutes of recording and I actually got most of this good looking material and so forth and I was on a roll and I forgot to record a voice. So I had 12 minutes of recording with no sound. Uh, and then I forgot what the other disclaimer was. I, I set it up in the disclaimer here, the other video as well. Oh yeah, um, in the Friday I actually don't have any videos whatsoever. Uh, in the previous one because I couldn't get to Tadashi Pasu on time to be able to record, unfortunately. But eh, don't don't worry. I have um, this time I'm gonna do a bunch of recordings. They're unavailable for this week, so uh, so now I had to do everything all over again to give you the tour and everything. And I did a couple of things. I'm gonna go through everything that I did in the last recording. I'm gonna go through everything. So don't worry. Yeah, um, you're not gonna miss anything. So let's see. F5, F1. Here we go. Okay, so this is this is the archery range that I was talking about two weeks ago that I was building. I'm using these as placeholders because I'm actually going to replace the ground with, with um, birch wood and wood oak planks as well. Uh, originally, I had these all rowed from the furthest over here. In, uh, no, the closest, this one, and the furthest on that one. But I, I scattered them a bit, so this one's the furthest, second furthest, third furthest, fourth furthest, and fifth furthest. And the reason why I used um, uh, birch instead of oak wood is because the birch has more contrast between the lines. You see? And also I was wondering whether this line here, is it the same color as that line or different line? That one compared to that one. It's one of those optical illusions that the surrounding area changes the color of the inside or changes our perspective of the color. So that's why. And another thing is that um, I put torches on the back so it lights up the block so it's easier to see during the darkness and during the daytime, I think, as well. Maybe. Um, I left, I opened these doors up so people can cross by, but I'll need to put a sign saying, um, Caution, arrow, exiting, like crossing. Anyways, and what else? Ah, ah, there's a lot of other things. So this is the things that I was working on in the other video as well. Um, and what else? Oh, yeah, I wanted to show you some few changes in the towns. I've been putting some roads down. I put some few more trees here and there, so it just looks a little better. Um, yeah, it looks, looks really nice. This tree kind of, I probably will need to trim this tree a bit. Um, that one looks really nice, and there was something weird. That's, this one looked really nice, and I put another tree behind this house as well. Kind of weird how one block of grass, no, grass leaves disappeared there as well. And these two have grown up nicely, and then I'll have to figure out how I'm going to put grass in here, and I'll need to fix this as well. Yeah. Um, and I have three golems now. I have one golem over here. Uh, where's the other two golems? The other two golems. So here's the second golem. And then the third golem. Where's the third one? The third golem. Okay, so one was over there. Another one's over there. Oh, there's the third golem. So one, two. And the third golem disappeared. Where is he? Here's the third golem. So one... Oh my, I can never see the all three gallons at the same time. Anyways, and then this is the birch wood uh, wall that I'm growing. I'm going to cut it down later on. And I'm still working on putting more sand there, but I need to dig up sand from other locations, which is going to be kind of hard. And then I'm building a few more locations to put more houses down. So the first house that I'm going to build is this one right here. Since this is already on the ledge, I have one unit, two units. I'm going to put glass here. And probably, I'm going to probably put the entrance right here instead. So, and the entrance is, is probably going to be here. And just go one or two down, two units down as well. <clears throat> and then I think I was building another house as well. So I need to finish building those two. Um, and then I'm going to move the Fletcher that's over here and going to move him to the archery range so people can buy resources from the Fletcher in the hard archery range. The same thing, I'm probably going to put another butcher next to the sheep as well. At least a toolsmith. Most likely I'm going to put toolsmith in there. Chickens keep getting in here. I don't like that. 
Actually, I should collect the eggs. I'm gonna collect the eggs. Uh, where is this eggs? Eggs, 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 eggs. Okay, how many eggs did I get? Seven eggs. All right. I'm gonna jump out here because they're really noisy. Okay. Uh, put this here. Put the eggs down in here. All right. <clears throat> so as I was saying, I was gonna use up this all this wood plank first. And yeah, so the the thing that I'm having issues is how close, how far do I have to to go here? This is where I left off before I figured out <gasps> I wasn't recording any sound. But this is the thing. This is the closest one. And I'm wondering, are these are these things a little too far? Do I have to make them a little closer? So if I stand right here, right, and go over here and fire. Let's see. It takes about two or three shots to. There we go. Oh my god. That's actually a first for me to actually hit it right in a bullseye. Look at that. Look at that. I'm gonna have that recorded. Ooh, that was awesome. In two shots. And so that was the closest one. That that shouldn't be too hard. Okay, so I changed my mind. That's not that far. But the other one, assuming that this is the distance, right, behind this torch. Actually. Uh let's move this torch here. Okay, behind this torch right and then take this don't forget to share and then this one you actually have to i'm a little more to the left a little more higher a lot more higher a little more higher a little more higher either that or throw another shot and those are three shots so yeah i, I guess the distance is fine it just takes a lot more um a lot more focus to be able to hit those shots either that or increase the the resolution on the screen so you can have a better view of it but that that's that's impressive oh the arrow is gone all right it's fine so there you have it um i should i should spread them i'll probably move these forward I'll, i'm gonna do that right now in the last episode i was actually not last episode in the last recording before i figured that it was uh before I discovered that I wasn't recording to town, uh, I was actually working on moving these around. And I'm thinking I'm going to actually move these a little further forward. This one is fine. I'm going to move this one a little bit further forward. So it's close. One, one, two. And then this one is going to go. Oh, I need that block of wood. This one, I'll move it. Uh, Let's go like this, uh, that one, and then this one will be here. So one, two, three, right? Uh, no, no, the ones at the further out, and the ones that are gonna get closer. So th this one is go one, two, this way. And then uh, one, t what was I say? This side is gonna be one, two, this one break this out break this off so yeah so one two and then one two and then this one go one two so this one right here right and then this one will be one two right here that's a lot more variation there but at least the blocks are gonna be a lot closer Oh, and another thing, this is pretty cool. I, go. I don't need to uh, kneel down, but I just put the block there, and it floats. Floating blocks of dirt. Uh, oh, here. There we go. And then I do that, and then I, I need to be able to do that, because if, if I put it normally, like try to put it on this here, it ends up pointing upwards, and I don't need that. I needed to to point outwards this direction, so that's why I put the block wood uh, wood uh, the dirt block down. And then after that, I can put a torch in the back so I can light it up better. And then put this here. Like that. 
And the other thing that I was talking about and uh, as well is that I want to be able to buy more glowstones because glowstones are very convenient. But also I want to be go to the ender world to be able to get the glowstone instead. So I'm thinking of putting the ender portal here on this little island, which is pretty nice to place it there. Uh, I'll probably make like a, a totem. Actually, I'm going to be working on that. I'm going to build a totem in, um a stand and so forth to use uh, cobblestone and so forth. I think I have. Yeah, I think I do have some. Uh, okay, so there you have it. Let me just put some torches down because I don't want creatures appearing here. It's it's pretty dangerous to work out here, especially because there's a lot of darkened areas here. So I have to be careful. I have to be very very careful. Uh, especially for the creepers. I'm put the one right here. Yeah, so there you have it. This is, um, and then let me, you know what? I'm going to do that. Yeah, so I was going to do is I'm going to work on the archery range right now, and then I'm going to work on the other two houses in the next episode. I mean, not next episode, next segment. Actually, I need to take down all the dirt here. Okay, let's, let's go to daytime because I don't feel very comfortable working at night. Uh, how much time do I have? 11 minutes. Okay, that's good. Yeah, so that's 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 basically a lot that I messed up. So always make sure that that the <clears throat> the resolution is proper. I'm gonna dump all this dirt down because I'm gonna end up with. Make sure that the resolution is correct and make sure that the recording is correct. So those are the two things you have to do. I'm using OBS. Um, if I was using um, Fraps, it wouldn't be much of an issue because Fraps is set up to do that. Um, for OBS, it's OBS is mostly for stream purposes. <coughs> also, I've been putting this road down here, but the problem is it kind of gets in the way with Kinger's uh, egg collector. So, um, I need to figure out how. I, I, I see that he was doing it with water. I'm not really sure how he's going to set that up. Can't wait until he comes back. He's just dealing with life and so forth. If if you're wondering what I'm referring to by his life experience, just ask him. I'm not gonna tell you. That's that's personal business. All as much as I am willing to say is that um he's dealing with life. That's all I can tell you. Who isn't dealing with life? Who isn't? I I just came out of working yesterday from the retirement center and and they're under quarantine for the last for the whole last week they're under quarantine because of the of the norovirus that's it the norovirus bomb 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 so yeah so the norovirus also known as uh, the stomach flu basically is a virus that gives you stomach aches and makes you vomit anything that goes into your stomach this is a really horrible experience for for young children and for elderly people it can be very dangerous because it can cause starvation and uh, dehydration because you you practically vomit even the water your stomach doesn't want to take in any food whatsoever because it's infected so what it says is basically it's like oh um there's something in the stomach and it doesn't want to get into the intestines or any further. So what it does is it practically starves you to prevent it from from the bacteria, or not bacteria, it's a virus, the virus from going any further. So that's what it does. It, it's not a really good experience. Uh, okay, so actually I should have, I should have left those on. Okay, so yeah, so I, everything is going to be um, Birch wood plank, except for these, which was going to be oak wood. Or should I do it the other way? Um, okay, let, let me see. Put Because I like the cleanliness of the birch wood. And then I think it would fit nicely in an archery range. You know, the, the cleanliness and the seriousness of an archery range. And then pocket them with a bit of, a, with a bit of oak, which is, would be... Something like that, right? Collect these, right? And do that. And that would be an indicator of, let me eat some steak before I get hungry. You could either do it like that, or 
Actually, could, I should do it the other way around. Uh, okay, let's let's knock these out. So yeah, so the retirement center is under quarantine to prevent the spread of the virus. And every time any person gets sick, the quarantine is extended another 48 hours. So the the first person that gets no, it's 48 hours after the person recovers. So let's just say on Monday you have the first incident of someone getting sick. So the whole place is under quarantine until that person is is not sick for 48 hours. So which means uh, the bacteria, not the bacteria, I keep saying bacteria, the virus is going to be inside a person's body with the symptoms for as long as possible. This, so this is the other way around. Uh, hmm, doesn't fit with the walls. Uh, so it's going to be like this. Oops. Uh, how is it? I don't know. It it just doesn't. Oh, that's why. This is not. So the, the so the virus is going to be with the person as soon as the person is fine after probably two or three days. So two or three days after the the quarantine starts, the person feels fine. Now the person has to wait another uh forty eight hours until he gets out of his room. Which means it's a total of about five day quarantine at the bare minimum. Which completely sucks for everybody else. Because uh, why did I why did I do that? It it sucks for everybody else because everybody else to prevent any other person from getting uh infected by the bacteria also is in quarantine as well. Because we don't know how many people actually got infected. And since the symptoms don't appear until uh, several hours later, actually until I think either six to eight hours later, the symptoms don't appear. You start off with a stomach ache, and it gets much worse from there. Um, okay, so that's that's how it is. And it looks like it's glowing. That's the th weird thing. Uh, oh, that's another thing. Why would I... I could actually put glowstone instead and just use the yeah okay never mind I'll use the glowstones as the markers yeah that that actually would be nicer just use glowstones I'll figure that out actually I'll need to buy some glowstone um, but I don't like the the oak wood as the base I should actually make birch wood as the base and either use the oak wood as the as a placeholder the markers or or the glowstones as the markers. Actually, I like the glowstone better, so I don't have to put down all the torches. And the interior can be lit up really brightly. Well, probably not that brightly. I'll probably do glowstone, oak, glowstone, oak, glowstone, oak, glowstone, oak, glowstone, oak. Um, it's gonna look kind of weird here because um, it's gonna go glowstone, oak, glowstone, oak, glowstone, oak, glowstone, oak. Glowstone oak. Oh yeah, I, I guess it'd be fine. All right. Um, this is it looks so weird. All right. Yeah. Okay. So we're gonna use the the birch wood as the base. I actually prefer that. It fits better with with the walls as well. Um. So in the of the five years that I work, I've been working there. I haven't gotten sick yet. Fortunately, thank goodness, I haven't gotten sick yet. Actually, I should do that as well over here instead of making it cobblestone make it birch wood okay i need uh, i need to to collect some actually let, let's let's not collect from our own private inventory of of emeralds but collect some from over here all right let's open this door up get in here where's the flesh here's the flesh Hand him some flesh. And then go over here. Where is it? Here we go. Put three down. One, two, three. And he's not upgrading. Okay, that's fine. I, sh I should totally finish this church. I, I got a a bunch of this 
Yeah, I should totally finish. I don't like really like the cobblestone here. I prefer to make it brick. Either that or polish and decide. Ah, polish and decide. How would the polish and decide look? I should totally do that as the base down here. The base for the end of sight. That should totally work fine. Okay. Oops. Can I reach it? Okay, good. Alright. Alright, uh, that I should do. There's so many things I need to do. So many things to do. So many things to do. So little time to do it all. Actually, what is it? I reached a 20 minute mark. So let's let's go over here. Probably I'm going to use this whole week. Uh, all these three segments. Just to work on the on the archery range. I really do want to work a little more on other things as well, like building more houses and so forth. But let me finish the archery range, because I really want to get this built. This is a nice project I can work on. Okay, so, so, yeah. Mm, yeah, okay. So the first two rows are not going to have anything at all. Should I? No, it, let's knock these off. Right, because there's going to be glowstone. So glowstone, glowstone, no, that's not glowstone. This is glowstone. So it's going to be glowstone and then birch wood around it and then wood plank and then birch wood around it as an indicator. You see? Uh, Oh, this is gonna be. I need to be careful when I break this. I need the. Uh, I need the uh, silk touch, so I don't have to lose a lot of the um, glowstone. That's another reason why I want to go to the Netherworld, so I can collect. Uh, uh, well, let me let me finish here because my time is running out. I only have like a couple of seconds left. So yeah, so let me let me put the the birch wood down. And oops. And then I'm gonna continue getting some more glowstone and stuff like that. And then, uh, yeah. There we go. That looks good. Yeah, that place looks dark. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna put the torches back up. At least, if I'm gonna if I'm gonna do that, at least I need to put a. Yeah, because this whole row is gonna have a uh, glowstone. Unless I can put a glowstone down here and then put. Oh yeah, I should do that instead. Uh, glowstone here, and then a and then a wood plank here, and then glowstone. So I'm gonna do that next time. In the meantime, let let me put the torches down. One, two, at the very least. Now look this way. Look into the sunset. Like that. Like that. And then yeah. Let me walk a little bit further so we have a better view of our archery range. It's kind of hard to walk forward like that. So, yeah. Um, yeah, so uh, see you next week. Uh, no, not next week. See you the next day, next second day, so forth. Uh, check out uh, my other videos, the tropical ones. I'm actually quite enjoying the tropical series as well, even though nobody's watching it. Uh, and then I, I started um, the new episode of... of of Sniper Elite 3 um, with a lot of blood and gore when I'd make headshots. Um, <coughs> yeah. Uh, what what else I was gonna else do? Uh, yeah, I guess this is it. Okay, well, um, thank you very much for uh, watching this ep uh, segment for segment of episode two, three, four. I have to check into it. I'll tell you what the next segment is. Okay, so I'll see you later. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe, leave a comment, at least leave me some comments. There's only one person that's very dedicated to me. He's Swedish, Norwegian, Norwegian? keep forgetting. But he's a cool guy. I, I like many of the advices, advices he gives me. Uh, you can read the comments in below for the advices. Anyway, bye-bye, bye-bye, bye-bye.